Hello, thank you for joining me. So this is our third film, our third video in our series on how to put in columns. Up to now we put in some grids and we put some grids in some very specific locations with the expectation of being able to put columns are going to be able to match that. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw that deck first and to do that we're going to go to our second floor floor plan. Now we're going to just choose a, a floor material and the way a deck works is just considered a floor. It's usually uh, going to be at the same elevation as another floor. So when you're transitioning from the inside of the house to the outside of the house on the second floor deck for instance, you're going to go out on the same level. So the floor is actually built down from levels. So we're going to build a, a floor on the second uh, floor, but it's going to be on the outside of the house. So it's not going to have a lot of boundaries. The boundaries are actually going to be the exterior wall of the structure. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go to floor. We're going to just pick a regular floor. Uh, it might be close to what we want to do, but what we really want to do, if you want to do this in a permanent way, is uh, kind of modify a floor material to reflect what actually might be there as uh, decking material that you might want to use. So we're going to choose a floor with a wood joist because a duck would have joists underneath it. Just the top would be a little bit different. And instead of using uh, the boundary line and the pick walls option, we're just going to draw using rectangles. And we're going to use the outside of the wall as a, as a reference. So we're going to pick that corner over here. Maybe draw that out. We want to have it a little bit to go a little bit further out than what the, the columns are going to support. You can put a dimension on that in order to provide a, you know, a specific dimension there. Now it's telling me I have an area here that I have some lines that are overlapping. So we're going to go ahead and correct that. We're going to go to the corner uh, tool, the corner trim tool, and trim that out. And we should have an extra line in there. We're going to go ahead and delete that. And we're probably going to have a line down here too. We're going to delete that and maybe connect these. So let's go to the corner trim tool and do that again too. And connect those together. So now we have what would appear to be uh, some sort of decking material. Check mark. Would you like the walls to go up to this horizontal attached to its bottom? Well, you could say yes if you like. There's really no walls that actually attach to it, so we're going to say no here. We're going to detach those targets and just have a, a floating floor out there. It's going to be at that level. It's just not, and any, none of the walls that are associated with it or nearby to it are going to, going to be affected by this floor. So, let's put in a column. Go to the column button. You have a couple choices here, a structural column or an architectural column. For this class, we're not going to do any structural columns, but you can choose that if you desire. We're going to do an architectural column. So we're going to click on that. We don't have any families loaded right now, at least none but the basic ones. So if you go to the Columns button, and if you go to Revit City and Seek, there are some other ones that you can uh, probably choose from. So you have a chamfer column, a door column, which is um, a little bit fancy. Metal clad column, rectangular column, which is one we already have loaded. So the one that actually shows a little bit of profile to it, which isn't too uh, fancy, we're going to pick the metal clad column and go ahead and use that. So go to Open. And we're actually on the wrong floor here. It's going to go from level from the floor 2 all the way up to the roof level. So let's go ahead and do this. Escape a couple times, go to floor 1. Open that back up again, go to floor 1. Up, and do that very same thing. Let's go to column. We already have that column loaded. And metal clad column. And we want, what we want to do is we want to place a column on the first floor and actually go up to floor two. We want to make sure floor two is uh, selected. What it doesn't allow us to do right now is uh, put an offset on the top of that. So let's go ahead and put a column in here. Column in here. You notice it'll attach itself to where the grid is. And we'll put a column right here. What we should have done is put another grid line down here so we can support that portion of the of our roof deck. But just to demonstrate, if we were to click on perhaps that column and change this dimension, maybe make that 11 feet, the column actually goes with that. So if we cl again click on that grid line, maybe make that 10 feet, again the column goes with that. So the column is actually bound by the grid. So we can do the same thing on this side too. If we want to make that instead of 12 feet, perhaps make that uh, 15 feet, it'll do that too. So let's go ahead and change that back. We'll make that 13 feet. And we should be in pretty good shape. Let's go to the elevation and see what that looks like. And one thing you'll notice about the columns is that the columns actually intersect the floor of, uh, of our deck. And that's probably not something we want to do. And in the next film, I will show you how to make modifications to that.